polio has paralyzed children for thousands of years. In order to secure a polio-free world for all future generations, we must eradicate all strains of the virus. In this video, I will explain the two different kinds of polioviruses that we need to tackle in order to achieve eradication. These are naturally occurring wild polioviruses and vaccine-derived polioviruses. There are three strains of the wild poliovirus, type 1, type 2, and type 3, which have been brought to historically low numbers thanks to the widespread use of the oral poliovirus vaccine. In fact, type 2 has already been eradicated and type 3 has not been found anywhere in the world for the past three years. The oral poliovirus vaccine has proven itself to be the best tool to stop wild poliovirus. The other kind of poliovirus that we need to prevent is called vaccine-derived poliovirus, which also occurs in three types, like wild poliovirus. On very rare occasions, the weakened life virus in the oral vaccine can genetically change into a form that can cause paralysis just like wild poliovirus. To understand vaccine-derived polio, it is important to remember how the oral poliovirus vaccine works. When the oral poliovirus vaccine is given to children, the weakened vaccine virus multiplies and can spread between individuals as the wild poliovirus does, leading to more children being protected against the disease. The oral poliovirus vaccine is the best tool that we have to protect children against polio because it's easy to administer and stops the virus from spreading to infect others. Vaccine-derived poliovirus is only occur in countries or communities where not enough children are vaccinated. In these places, the weakened virus strains from the vaccine can continue to circulate in a community for many months through unvaccinated children. If these viruses manage to circulate unnoticed for many months, the vaccine virus can occasionally change into a form that can once again cause paralysis. These strains emerge rarely because they require so many unvaccinated children over such a long period of time but they can paralyze unvaccinated children for life, just as wild poliovirus does. To eradicate polio, it is just as important to stop circulating vaccine-derived polioviruses as it is to stop wild poliovirus. The oral polio vaccine is the vaccine to use to eradicate polio. Thanks to its unique ability to interrupt person-to-person -person spread, of the virus. But once all types of wild polio are eradicated, we have to stop using the oral poliovirus vaccine altogether. This will stop strains of vaccine-derived polioviruses from emerging ever again. This process is already underway. Because the oral poliovirus vaccine is made up of three components, one for each polio strain, we can remove them in a phase manner as each wild strain is eradicated. Any child paralyzed by any kind of poliovirus is a child paralyzed for life. Oral poliovirus vaccines have enabled us to bring polio eradication within sight. And once we have stopped wild strains altogether, its job will be done and it will no longer be useful. By removing the oral poliovirus vaccine, we can complete polio eradication by stopping all kind of polioviruses. Thank you for watching.